Hi, Steve Callahan here, and I'm at the SJCOE Fab Lab, and we're looking at collections. So collections is groups of information, a collection of data. Now, sometimes when we're coding, we want to deal with a single variable, one piece of information. But very often, we want to deal with a lot of it. After all, that's one of the strengths of coding, being able to deal with a lot of information quickly. So, when I think of collections, I tend to think of, well, cubby holes. You remember in kindergarten, you might have had some kind of boxes, one after the other, where you put uh, your lunch or your backpack or your jacket? Well, that's kind of how I envision an array, uh, which is a type of collection. It's information one after the other. Spot zero, spot one, spot two. We count from zero. So being able to deal with large amounts of data all together is good coding, but it's also a California computer science standard. Create more generalized computational solutions using collections instead of repeatedly using simple variables. Let's look at an example right here. So, I have here a function, my function, and it deals with a variable, Jim. I create another variable called greeting, and it adds or concatenates Jim's name onto a string hello. And then I print that out. Look, here's what happens. It creates logger.log, .log, prints out for me this variable greeting, and it says, hello, Jim. Now, that's one variable added onto some words to create my solution. What if I wanted to say hello, not just to Jim, but to everyone in the class? So I created here a collection. It's called class names. I've got Susie, Carlos, and Samuel. Now, I'm going to use a loop or iteration in order to say hi to everybody. So, notice I said, with my variable class names, for each, for each one of these, I want to run a function that takes a name, the name being each item in my array, I'm gonna make my variable be hi with that name added on. And then, I'm gonna have the logger output. I can get rid of this. All right, let's try it out. Oh, hi Susie. Hi Carlos. Hi Samuel. All right, let's try out creating a collection and then using that information. Have fun. 